Hi, I'm Kim Marie Ross with 3X3 Beauty. And first of all, I just want to thank all of you who are using 3X3 Beauty products, um, five star rated, uh, neck firming and hydration cream, I am beautiful eye cream, and of course, the eye and lip line wrinkle repair stick. So today I'm going to talk to you about flawless tanner. Okay, so a lot of you are using this and I'm gonna give you some tanning tips, but the last video, uh, so check this one out if you didn't see it. I showed you how to use the Bronzy Babe bronzer. I used it on my eyelids for uh, eyeshadow, on my lips for lip color, makes it look real natural, and then cheeks for contouring, then all over lightly from the face on down, and uh, some other tips with that. So um, you can find that on the website or on my YouTube page, 3x3 Fit. So, uh, flawless self tanner. Okay, so I have not tanned, uh, self tanned for weeks, so I'm pretty white. You can see my arms pretty white. Um, so my first tip is make sure that you have no lotions, that you use it on um, dry, clean skin. Now here's uh, the first mistake a lot of people make. They're like, okay, um, I don't wanna spray much into my mitt because I don't wanna waste my product. Uh, then I'll have to buy another bottle soon. Nope, this bottle is gonna last you a long time. I'm gonna tell you, if you wanna get nice bronze look, go a little bit heavier. Um, so this Ultimate Tanning Mitt, it is in the box. Um, you do not have to put on a rubber glove with it because it's lined. So, okay, I'm gonna show you. So, heavy tan. You can go light. If you're gonna go light, maybe five, six sprays. I like to go heavy. So I put like about 10 sprays before I even start putting the tanner on. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see. And then just go ahead and cover as much as you can. Uh, and then when you feel like you've used what is on your mitt, just go ahead and spray some more. Again, I go really heavy. Now I've already saturated the glove once, so now I can go a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna just get my one arm and take a look in the mirror here so I get everything. Now the nice thing is, um, is that it has a color guide. So it goes on with color. Um, so your immediate gratification. So um, now as for the hands, I'm gonna show you what I do with the hands, but you can use the mitt for the hands. You just kind of lightly brush it. And um, as I uh, showed you in the last video with the bronzer, this is what I use. I don't personally like to put the tanner on my face or my neck or chest. I just prefer to use the bronzer, but uh, a lot of people love the self tanner for the face as well. So that's a personal choice. Okay, so let me show you. I just did one arm. Hopefully you can see here. Let's see if I can adjust this down. All right, can you see the difference? Okay, so um, that took all of, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds to do one arm. Uh, here we go, that's probably better. So quite a difference. Now, let's say I wanna go heavier, no problem. Uh, First application, instantly dry. I'm gonna put on a second application and go darker. So that's the way I like to do it. I like to get all my self tanning done in one or two days. And then I can go um, a good week without doing it again. So long lasting and uh, you just have to wait. Here, let's see. There you go. So quite a difference, yes? So it makes your arms look more fit. Uh, just immediately makes you look like you've lost weight, especially when you're putting it on your legs. Man, that, it could take off a decade off your legs. Covers up a multitude of sins. But um, back to what I was saying. So this is a long lasting tan. Uh, so get the color that you want. And then a week later, maybe you apply another application. So um, you can wash off the color guide after about three hours. You don't have to, um, but before you step into a pool or go out into the rain, uh, you wanna make sure the color guide is washed off. Otherwise it's gonna kind of run down. But the great thing is the color is going to come up to be this beautiful bronze Caribbean color. Um, just love it. So, okay, other tanning tips are on the website. Just go ahead to 3x3beauty.com, click on the uh, Flawless Self Tanner, and scroll down and you'll see all my tanning tips. Um, oh, hands and feet, okay. That's always a question that my customers have. So 
there is uh, what's called the Overachiever Brush. Um, I talked about this brush in the Bronzy Babe video with the bronzer. Um, this is on the website as well. So this loose end, this is great. You can spray the self tanner onto the loose end and put it onto your hands and feet. Hands and feet are tricky, so this works really well. Or you can use the stipper end, um, but I like to use this end for my liquid foundation. And then I use this for my Bronzy Babe uh, powder, which, um, yeah, I'll just show you that again. So this is the Bronzy Babe powder, and this is what I put on my face, chest, eyelids and lips um so um i would suggest that you order two brushes if you if you're going to use this for yourself tanner as well it really is a great tool for applying onto your feet and to your hands and the other um big tip for hands since we wash our hands all day long i personally do my hands at night before i go to bed and i actually keep my neck cream um right next to the bed and I put on, after it's dried, I put on just the lightest conditioner of my neck cream right over it. Uh, hands just get really dry, especially in Minnesota. Uh, but I keep it, I keep the neck cream next to my bed and every night I take a small amount and put it on my hands as well. I don't put it on all day long because you're washing your hands um, or I wash my hands all day. So um, just a little tip there with the neck cream. It's great for the, the neck, the chest and the face. So, okay. 3x3 fit, um, 